In this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, but still no pants. You know why? Because this is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin. Now, I hear that this episode literally translated like an entire volume of the light novel into one episode. They just crammed this shit. And this episode is the reason why season three is so frowned upon. Is it that bad? I'm, I'll probably not know, right? Maybe it's super rushed, but we'll see. So far, the premise of him like actually becoming so strong physical abilities that's kind of interesting oh wait there's only one way is to get the spirit powers back so you need to like kiss him or like of course of course it's always through a kiss the path right the connection path you gotta take your fucking power back suck his spirit energy right out of him that's the entire episode oh shit this come this might be like super fan service uh, ellen uh, ellen uh, ellen what what is she doing here is she gonna kiss too Oh, I thought he was doing it without understanding who it was for a second because they had, but okay. Look at this aura. The territory doesn't matter, dude. I like Ellen a lot just because of her design. Dude, he's such a playboy right now. What the fuck? I love you? Damn, he just dodged that. Oh! <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? What a gentleman. Um. <laughs> Bro, just gonna give her a little forehead smooch and leave? Holy shit. Yo, have you guys seen the original Spider Man series with Toby McGuire? There's a Spider Man 3 where Toby basically just goes to this edgy emo mode. Or he's like dancing on the street, just going like this, yeah, like that. Dude, this is kind of reminding me of it. What the fuck? There's even a scene where like Toby Maguire like dances on a chair trying to impress girls. Like, what the fuck, dude? dude the bro's an absolute menace right now. Damn, we got the entire gang. Save me? Oh, you better work for it. You have to make me fall for you. Oh. Yeah, so far the premise of this episode is really fun, right? But I'm just imagining like an entire volume with this kind of content would be really, really fun. Dude, the power has gone into his head. He would never act like this. You can just fly? Huh? Isn't that kind of important? What power? Yamai's powers? Maybe the Yamai twins? Yeah, okay, sure. Alright. Oh, Origami still outfits the best, man. Fucking Natsumi. Natsumi and Yoshida should not be included, bro. And honestly, sometimes I wonder if Kotori should be involved in this, you know? I, Cause like, Yoshida and Natsumi are actual lollies. I don't know if Kotori... Kotori is like on the edge, right? I, I, it's a... I like Origami. Oh shit, if Kyohei planned this, you know it's gonna be super degenerate. Kurumi won't be joining us this episode, huh? Aww. Hey, yo. Yeah, that, 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 that how you phrase that was kind of sus. A nude beach. Cause you're just- that's too much, Origami. What do you mean? You can't- get, no, we, This entire fucking episode will be blurred then. I mean, what's stopping you? You can just take it off right now. Exactly, the entire episode would just look like this. Yeah, Kyohei and Origami, they, they, they do kind of have the same degenerate tendencies. Block together. Uh, left is Yuzuru for sure. Just I just judged that based on their chest size. That was it. I didn't even look at their eyes. He just casually changed into his swimming trunks. I guess spirit powers can do anything now, huh? At a certain point, so much as physical stimulation just... Doesn't it's not enough. You need to like mentally stimulate him. And I think Origami is really good at that. What the fuck? Wait, banana what? Banana what? Yo, bring Kyo back. Bring bring Kyo back. He was gonna say some crazy shit there. He's fine with them stepping on him with the I thought it was only cool today that he was fine with getting stepped on, but he's even fine with the guy stepping on him? This guy's fucking insane. I love how you can still hear his voice and everyone's just like intently listening. Not to be so short there, you can only see her head. Eh. It's like, at a certain point, is that it? You're just gonna press your tits on him? Like, that's it? I, like, no offense to these girls. But, at a certain level, I expect a lot more than simple physical gestures. 
I'm Boy, expecting Boy, Origami Boy, to be Boy, fucking Boy, insane Boy. at this, man. <laughs> it was cute, guys. Thanks, thank you. Bye, though. <laughs> oh, he's pretty much like embarrassed her. Oh, That's pretty much saying like, oh, that was kind of cute. You know, good job, guys. Uh, okay. That, that's it? But it can't be it. You're gonna eat it together? Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, now this is a bit better than just pressing their tits on a step. Now it's a little bit of mental stimulation because now you're thinking, what is that ice cream? What are they doing? You know, the ice cream is your dick, bro. Of course, it's just going to be vanilla soft serve cone, right? Because it's got to be white. What are you thinking, bro? I think it kind of worked. I think it actually worked, yeah. He's still casting while being tied down. Oh, God. Oh, sh oh no. That's me. It's a toddler. I can't. The only people that can get off to this are people that's going to jail, bro. No, you. <gasps> you call me cute. Oh my god. I hope she changes to older version. Boy, boy. Oh, Jesus. I thought she was just purely naked. Just games together? What the fuck is. Uh, is this past sad memories? What the fuck? Oh, right, right. I forget. She needs to get upset. Remember all these shitty things so that she can use her power to change, right? That's a tragic memory from the past? I didn't have the game. Now we're talking. But again, this is just physical stimulation. It doesn't do much at a certain point. All right, whatever. I'd argue that her um, spirit astral dress is more sexier than this because this is a bikini. I don't really care. But them Halloween themed leggings though, that, that, that's kind of crazy. Huh? Get the, get the fuck out of here. I can't be watching this shit. I can't put this shit on YouTube, man. I, I, I'm, Jesus Christ, man. Help me out here. Help. Why are, did you. Why? You fucking did. You? That's actually kind of funny that, the, that the, the, the sound started happening immediately. And then we're gonna get Yoshino right after. You gotta pet the lol. No, stop it. Stop it. No, I can't put this shit on YouTube. Gotori making her move? Yeah, you're definitely not growing fast. Gotori, I've been watching you for three seasons. You haven't changed a single fucking chest size. It works though! This fucking guy. Here we go. You just, she's just roofing him?! I expect nothing less from what he got me, to be honest. That, that's exactly what I expected. Guys, one thing to take note if someone puts some shit in your drink is like if there's things floating in your drink. I think she got the cups mixed up. I think it did. I think she did. Yeah, this origami, what the fuck? Moegami can just show up at any moment or is this just specifically this episode? I didn't expect a soft approach like this. I, I expected some kind of fucked up shit happening from Morigami, you know, but it worked. Toka doesn't really have sexual appeal, though. That's, that's, that's not really Toka, you know? Hey, when I say that Toka doesn't have sexual appeal, I mean, like, she does, like, she is so innocent and pure that she can't really seduce him like that, but I don't think she needs to. Oh, wait. Maybe, maybe, maybe the, maybe she did get the roofie, but we're just gonna eat dinner together, okay. He thought he did get roofied. Wait, this is like a super important soundtrack. It's, it's, did this play during, uh, what's it called? Metatron or some of the origami arcs? That's a Kamehameha, bro. Where did you learn this from? I'm confused. What the fuck just happened? It's because we couldn't do it in time, so his spirit energy kind of exploded? He looks super sick here. I mean, if he can actually harness the energy like this in the future seasons and fight other spirits, that'd be super cool. Worse than the one 30 years ago. His power level is as strong as the origin spirit right now? Oh, yo, this is actually really dangerous. Danesleaf. Final. Okay, things are going way too fucking fast. What is going on? Wait, what? The pacing just got out of control, but Danesleaf? We're not, you know, spamming Mistle Teen anymore. That's good. That's some super important plot shit. They had a weapon specifically for Shido ready. In case she went bers berserk like this. And like, it, it feels off because this episode so far has been just super fan service. 
and then suddenly super important plot. That's like, what the fuck? Kurumi? 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 Kurumi, Kurumi, Kurumi. It's gotta be. That's look at the color. There she is. There she is. I love how she just shows up and helps and just leaves, man. Like in the movie too, right? <laughs> so <I'm> just, <laughs> just wait for the kiss, then he's like, fuck off, then the other girls come in. Gonna get one kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs> this is I love how he just stands, he just floats there and waits. And then he'll go again. I don't know. Oh, Jesus. Miku at every fucking point. She always figures out a way to get a line like that in. Oh, Sandal phone. This is kind of dangerous. Yo, that's kind of really dangerous. <laughs> and Kepaki is like swinging a sword. But as soon as a girl shows up and gives a kill, he's like, oh. No. Yo, he kind of just fucked up Kotori there. It's fine. She got Kamel. That's kind of fucked up, though. No other girl took that kind of like blood damage except her. Sandalfon. Sandalfon versus Sandalfon. Oh shit. Toka, you gotta get the final kiss in. And like Kurumi, that's crazy. We still haven't kissed Kurumi. End of season three. Maybe end of season four we will. What's she gonna do? Just walk up and just kiss? Oh, you know, she did this a lot to Toka whenever Toka was going berserk or even like walking through the blizzard with Yoshino. The reason why he does this is not placed in the anime. You guys explained to me that he actually had a past of being like left, right? He had these like abandonment issues. So he sees the spirits as like, oh, I don't want them to feel the same way, right? They didn't explain in the anime. So I just assume like the fucking hard main character, who cares, right? But there's actually a deeper meaning. Main girl. Toka's the main girl, man. Final kiss. Watch it not be enough. Man, are we ever- Wait, is he gonna get naked? What if Shido gets naked? Cause you know it, how it's the other way- What, are you gonna skip it? post credit scene, kind of? Ah, it would've been hilarious if she just like became naked after kissing Toka. Oh, I think she got the final one, man. These apples look fucking miserable, though. <laughs> it's the thought that counts. <laughs> Dude, our harm is growing, man. Oh. Oh. Oh! She got another one in? What the fuck was that though? Like the last seven like the last 30% of this episode was like, holy shit. The first bit was kind of fun, right? Also very interesting. Shido's powers are going all crazy, and we have to have like this fan service, almost like an OVA episode. That was all fun. And then suddenly he went berserk, and the culture is like, alright, we gotta use Thane's Leaf, guys. This is the final weapon we save for Shido. I'm like, what what the fuck? I'm just trying to chill right now. What's going on? And then the final battle and everything, that shit was omega rushed. Absolutely. But if I just take it as like a standalone episode of just like a simple OVA with a lot of fan service, then you can kind of treat it like that. But apparently that was like an entire, like a light novel volume. And I can understand why people are very upset, but it is what it is. Ignorance is bliss. Now, the game plan from here on out is going to be season four and then Data Bullet because a lot of people are saying Data Bullet just because you want to fucking see Kudami. But for me to understand the context of the actual villain and stuff, apparently I need to watch season 4. And talking about Kudami, she did show up this episode, but goddamn, still no kiss. In fact, I was expecting a kiss by the end of season 1 with Kudami, but no. And then season 2, nah. Season 3, nah. And I bet you in season 4, bitch ain't gonna show up until episode 7, right? It is what it is. That's why she's so sought after, right? You know, characters like that in anime, the ones that you really like, they don't get a lot of screen time. And when they do, people go fucking apeshit. And that's kind of the, the the charm of it, right? If they're always kind of there, then you kind of get bored of it. But goddamn, we need more kudumi. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. But until next time, take care.